Hi, Aaron. Thanks for watching. So as you're looking to grow your business, uh, the addition of a website is a great way to do that. Um, unlike face a lot of these ads, whether through Facebook or Google, these are all pay-per-click. So as many times as somebody clicks on it, you're getting charged. Same thing with like buying leads from Yelp or Angie's List or places like that. Um, they're usually sharing those leads in multiple different companies, so you end up getting price shopped. You own the website. So once it's ranking in the Google search results, as many people as are searching are going to find your site, they're going to click on it, and they're going to call you directly. So it's really one of the best forms of advertising because most people are just going right to Google and searching for things in their area. So being up here would be really beneficial. But when you're building out the site, you really got to keep a few things in mind. So say if we just take the, the top company that comes up right in your hometown, you really need to understand that you're, you're building a website for two different viewers. The first, the consumer. So you want to make sure it's easy to navigate. They can get all the information right at the top of the screen. Most people are using their mobile device nowadays. So you want to make sure it's mobile optimized. So everything's click to call. Uh, just one click with their thumb can go right to either the form submit to reach out to you or a telephone call to call you. Uh, there's you know fun animations, things that can pop in and out, highlight, hover, things like that. It's, it's all great. But arguably, the more important viewer for your website is going to be Google itself. Its computer has to be able to search and index your site and pull off all the information on it so that way it can properly rank you in the search results. Because realistically, statistically speaking, if you're not on the first page of search results, you're not going to be found by any consumer because they're just not going to go that deep into the Google search to find more companies when they've got tons of them right at their fingertips. So in order to properly do that, there's some things you need to keep in mind on the what we call on-page SEO, search engine optimization. Now to, to show you how that works, um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this company and I put them into this tool that I use and it shows me all the things that Google finds on their website. So let me define these a little bit. As far as on-page, the biggest thing is the keywords. So if we look at this company, these are all the words and phrases that are being typed into Google search that are being found on their website. And this is the volume, the number of times per month that they're being searched. So this is where we want to do a little bit of market research and determine what kind of services you want to offer and then what areas you want to offer them in. And then we try to find the highest volume keywords and make sure that those are being included on your website. So for instance, if you're doing cedar fencing, that's obviously a pretty popular one because 500 people a month are searching that. So if you were on the first page of Google, 500 people a month will be seeing your website. Now, we're usually pretty um, cautious and conservative on the number of people that actually see your website versus become a lead and call you. So we say 10% of those searchers will actually give you a call. Now, I don't know what the conversion rate is, but let's say even only another 10% of those, so 10% of 10%, actually become a customer just off of having this one keyword and having your website ranked on the first page you could be getting five jobs per month and then we would repeat repeat that same process for all the highest volume keywords in the areas that you want to target and then also the services you want to offer now as far as the formula that google uses to find these keywords uh, it's just a computer, so it doesn't care how pretty the layout is. It's just going to come in. It's going to count all the words and text on the page. Now, it generally wants to see about 1,500 to 2,000 words because it assumes that the more information you have on your page, the more of an expert you are, and then the more likely it is to recommend you higher up in the search results. Now, while it's counting all the words, it's searching for those keywords. So any kind of service that you offer and then the areas that you offer it in. Now, this is where the number of words on the page really comes into play because you're only allowed to have one of those keywords for every 100 to 150 words of text on the page. So depending on how many services you want to offer will determine how many keywords we want to use and then how much content has to be on the page. So that would include all the services and then also any of the locations, things like that. So that really determines the content on the page and then the number of pages you need based on how many keywords and what the volume is that people are searching. Now, that'll get Google to be able to see all the words that people are searching and recommend you. However, in order to get higher up on the list so you're not stuck on like back pages three, four, and five, you need to build what's called the authority of the website. Now, that's the trust that Google has in your site, which is basically just a fancy way of 
being a popularity contest. So if we go back into this competitor, the trust is, is basically gained through what are called backlinks. When another website refers back to yours, they basically act as an endorsement that Google uses to build that trust because others are vouching for you. So just to quickly define these, if say the local news station did an article on their website for the top 10 best fence insulation companies in the South Shore area, and in that article the reader could click on a link and it would bring them to your website, that would be considered one backlink from one referring domain or one referring website. Now there's a lot of websites that can create backlinks to you, including blog or posting sites, any kind of press releases, manufacturers or distributors that you work with, things like that. But one of the most important ones is what's called a citation. Now, a citation is any time that your name, address, or phone number is listed in an online directory. Now, these directories include Yelp, Yellow Pages, Super Pages, Better Business Bureau. So, what you want to do is try to find as many of these directories as possible. You just need to create an account and sign in and join them and then input your information into it. Uh, and then that'll create some authority as well. And these sites are usually pretty powerful because they're pretty trustworthy sites. Um, so this is a, another good way to create a lot of good authority for your site. So the, basically the, the bottom line is the more trust and authority that Google has in your website, the more likely it is to recommend you. So everything on Google search is a race. So all we gotta do is beat the other guy. So if you want to rank say at the very top of this list, then this would be the competitor you have to beat in the, your local area. So you just need to get more referring domains and more backlinks than, than they have. So Google will trust you more. Keywords, it's really, there is, there's no competition here. It's only using what words and services and locations you wanna be found for. This is what determines how high the ranking is in what's called the organic search results. Now up on top of that, this is called the map pack. You don't have to have a website to be in here. Uh, you need just to create a Google business profile, which is inside the Google Maps app. So you can do it right from your smartphone right now. You wanna fill out as much information as possible in there, including all the services that you offer, the areas you offer them in, and even your hours of operation. And then what you wanna do is take your photos and they wanna be geotagged within your service area. You wanna upload those as well as posts onto your profile on a regular basis. Try to get customers to leave you reviews. And then this is really where a lot of those citations, your name, address, and phone number, you wanna be listed in more directories than anybody else on this list. So when you optimize that profile, you can start to get higher up on this list. So even though you don't have a website to go to, at least you can be found here because a lot of people will just click on one of these top three listings. So that's some things you can do right now. And then when you are ready to create a website, like I said, it's the biggest thing is just keeping in mind that you're, you're making it not just for the consumer, but you're making it for Google because if Google doesn't see it and Google doesn't rank it, then unfortunately nobody's gonna see it. So when it comes time for that, feel free to reach back out to me. Uh, I have a whole web development team here. You can just provide me with some, some samples of the work that you've done, your logos and any kind of graphics and color schemes, and we can build out a whole website for you. And then we can talk about how we can get you some authority and then that way we can get a ranking right up at the top of the page and you can be getting a lot more work and a lot more leads coming in just from that. So feel free to reach out to me whenever you're ready or if you get any kind of questions on anything I went over, I'd be happy to talk to you. Appreciate your time.